and welcome to Great Minds Tutorials. This is your favorite tutor, Khodiso, and this is another episode where we're going to be... It's not really an episode. I'm just going to be dropping some nice content, and I'm going to be dropping something that you might not have known or heard about, what we call a Babylonian square technique. Oh, big words. English. Okay. Bab. Babylonian square root. Okay, is it? Uh, so a Babylonian square root is an ancient and simple technique of approximating the square root of a number. This is based on the newton robson method of solving nonlinear equations. Yo, hi. Big things, big things, big things, but let's go for it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be giving you a Babylonian uh, square root method, but we're going to be applying a little bit of newton robson method. Okay, now, so going back to our... I'm going to be doing the stuff that we've been doing all along. What I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be having a private static... Uh, let me return a float. And then bab for bab, bab root. Okay, I'm gonna say bab root. Let me call it bab root for Babylon. And then I'm gonna give it an int, which is a number. And then this is where it gets interesting inside of here. So now what I'm gonna be doing is that now I'm gonna say, uh, okay, I already have the number. And then what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm gonna be creating a float. I'm going to be converting the number to a float. So what I can do is that uh, I can just say, let this be a root. Uh, not, uh, not really a root. Uh, okay, but let us just say it's a root. Still fine. Then I'm going to assign it to num at first. And then it's going to convert it from an integer into a float because what we are returning up there, it is to be a float. So, and then I'm going to create a float. Uh, and then the second float is going to be, um, let me say this is num2. And then I'm going to assign it to a one. And I'm going to have a double, which is the one that we're going to be dividing with. And that is a E. This is just a constant which is going to be 0. Dot, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Five zeros. And um, now, once we have this, then what I'm going to be doing is that now I'm going to be saying while... Um, now, what I'm going to be saying is that while the root minus the num2, which is the 1, is greater than e then if that's the case every time i will then have to say now the root is then now assigned to the root plus num2 and then divided by two so i'm just gonna half the combination of the root which is the num1 and plus one and then I'm going to be dividing it by two. And then the other thing that I'm going to be doing is that num2 is also going to be halved. So I'm just going to say uh, num2 is assigned to the root divided by uh, what we are having here, which is the root itself. OK, so I made a mistake here. This is supposed to be num, thinking about it. Newton Rapsum. So, okay, now what this means is that num2 is then going to become num, which is the number, which is going to be the number, let's be beat 5, 25, or any kind of a number that you want to square root for. And then I'm going to be putting it here, and then I'm going to be dividing by the root, which is this one that I'm getting here. And as soon as the while loop is done, then it will have to return. it will have to return num2. So in this case, I will have to return num2, which is that. So, okay, now that should be sufficient. So now going back to the main menu, then I'm gonna have to get here 
explode root and then i'm gonna prompt the user to enter scanner se new scanner uh, system dot int so and then so I'm gonna have to get a new int which is num. That is the one that the user is going to enter. Let me just scroll down a little bit so that I get to work properly. Okay, now here I'm gonna say prompt user input. And then I'm gonna say system that are the print line, please enter the number you want. Babylonian, Bab, Bobby, hey. Lonian, uh, hey, I don't even know how to spell Babylonian. Okay, Babylonian root four. Okay, but it's fine. Let's work. Let's work on it. Uh, okay, now we're gonna put that there. Right. Um, uh, uh, now. I see the next end. So yeah, after when I've got the num, then for me to get the root, then I can get it by bab root. And then I wanna put the num in here. Determining the root. displaying the info the root of the number is It's root. So let's test it out and see if this is going to be able to work. And then, okay, now I'm going to put in the number 25. And there we have it. It's able to get the number, which is five. And if I run it again now, I say I want the number one for four, 12, which is true. There is the square root. That is the Babylonian root for that specific number so okay now let us explain this now if the number which is 25 minus a one is greater than this then we want to then go inside here we're going to change the number number is going to be number plus one divided by two meaning that we're going to half it in the middle so when we half it in the middle then number two which is that one then will then become the num, which is 25, divided by the root, which is half of that. I don't know if maybe I should open paint. Maybe let me open paint so that this can actually make sense. But just go and dry it out. So, okay. Root. Let me label them out. So root yeah is equivalent to 25 and uh let's go back our root is 25 and then our num2 uh, our root is 25 and our num2 is equivalent to one and uh okay and then um okay now so all, all right and then e is equivalent to 0 0.0001 like that let's just confirm what we okay and then we are having almost everything so now going into the while loop
and then going into the while loop now we're going to say the first loop is going to go in and then it's going to check if this subtract that which is root subtract the one that part so it's going to check if this subtract that so we're going to get a 14 it's going to check if it's greater than 0 when 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. and that is a true so it's going to go inside the while loop then now root is going to be equivalent to root plus num2 divided by 2 then this is going to be 16 divided by 2 and that is going to give us an 8 then that is what we are having and then it's going to come to num2 so num2 is equivalent to num which is just 25 in that case if but let's make this root to be 25 here. I don't know if maybe I can uh, remove this. Let's make this to be a 25. Let's make this to be a 25. And then yeah, it's going to be 26 divided by 2, which is a 13. I'm just doing this calculations of my head, guys. Uh, if I get it wrong, please forgive me. <laughs> but it should get there. Yeah, it's 13. Yeah. All right. So now yeah. It's 35 divided by. Yeah, it's gonna come in and say 25 divided by the root, which is 13. Yeah. Now I need to open up my calculator. Yarr. It's 25 divided by 13 that is going to be 1.9 uh, something something so when you come back you're going to take the root the root is going to be updated now to 13 and then number two is going to be updated to the one that is here and then you still check if it's greater than that and then you come back again you divide it by you're going to take 13 divided by 1.92 and they're going forward and so on and so on until you get a five. So, but I hope this paint site gives you a clear view of how the numbers are kept as we are moving forward with it. But if you can practice this, then that should be very key for you to understand uh, some of the few concepts that have been explained. And that is it for this uh, simple exercise. Until the next time we draw, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That is it from me, your favorite tutor, Horiso, and I'm out. Cheers.